Right, hello everyone. This is going to be my second video going over my Ultramarines hobby progress, and I would have to say over the last week I got a little bit done. Uh, to start with, we're going to go ahead and look at the Contemptor here. And I went ahead and uh, actually uh, changed out their sword uh, for a Reaper chain blade off of a knight that I decided that I was never going to use that chain blade from. I actually got the idea from looking at different horse heresy armies, and I wish I knew who the person was, but it was an Iron Hands Contemptor that had the, uh, the chain blade on it, and it looked really awesome, so I decided I was going to go ahead and uh, give it a try, you know, try it out. It looks really cool, and I'm really, I, I don't know, it just, it looks more Terran, and that, that's the thing, is he's supposed to be a Terran veteran, that's kind of why I, I wanted him to have a little bit more of a oomph to him, so... That's a pretty good change. Then we have our tactical squads here. So again, got a little work here and there on the gunmetal, uh, and did skin on the two sergeants with the bare heads, and also did my first attempt at actually doing eyes, which I have to say I think I did a pretty good job on. Um, also went ahead and painted their chests with the gold, because uh, I wanted to show that they had artificed armor, and I think that turned out pretty well. So, moving on, we got our Primaris Medicae here. And especially with the gold and the white on it, it's it's starting to really come together. He's looking really nice. So, almost like a proper Medicae. So, really excited and happy with how he's turning out. Then we have our content. I did it again. Second time in a row I've done it again. It is Cataphract Terminators, not Contemptor Terminators. Every time I say I go over, it's like it's Cataphract Terminators. And every time I'm like, it's Contemptor Terminators. <laughs> Eventually I'll get it right. So, we have our sergeant here, who, like I said, I was going to give him the black book uh, scheme. And Wow. I mean, he looks really good. Really solid. I'm super happy with how this guy's coming along. So, can't wait to get his uh, visor painted up and uh, get some decals on him. I'm also going to finish up that uh, cloth of his. Uh, the other thing, too, is I actually did get quite a bit of hobby progress on this week because I converted up some uh, Locataris. Uh... So I got really excited when I saw that they had rules. I didn't even look at them when I'm like, yes, finally, I got to play my Locotaris. So it went up and converted them and then read over the rules. And uh, a little disappointing that people are upset, you know, by them. And I mean, I, I don't have enough experience with the game right now to kind of, you know, uh, make, make a judgment, right? As to whether they're too good or too this or too that. Um... But, I mean, the thing is, talked with my hobby group, and everyone mutually agrees that, you know, it's it's the concept of we're here to have fun and tell a story, and as long as it achieves that goal, it doesn't really matter, right? But, went ahead and obtained up there, some of them, uh, ironically enough, I didn't intentionally build half of them with bare heads, but that's just how it came out. So, overall, very happy. Come on. There we go. So, very happy with how these guys are turning out. Um, and I think that the overall effect looks great. I actually, uh, so, focus, please. All right. So, I used uh, Stormcast Vanguard and Sanguinary Guard bits, and then just different bits from my bits box to kind of fill out, you know, the models as kind of where they needed it but I think these guys turned out really cool and I'm excited to get them on the table to play with just because I think the the entire concept behind them right is just so cool so interesting very unique um, and it, it's one of those things of like major difference between you know like 40k faction space marines and legions is the legions really 
they they use their space marines very effectively where i feel like a lot of chapters don't really do that but lastly we have the big man himself my chapter master praetor and I, I gotta admit i did give him quite a bit more time than i gave other squads so but i mean you gotta admit he is really coming along just gonna move him over here real quick but yeah no um just really really happy with how he's turning out like just the power fist here and all that little detail is just coming out really nice those studs and oh he's so coming he just looks so good um now for the cape and the crest here um to kind of explain my color theory behind that so like i said before um I am kind of reverse engineering the concept of like what let, let's put a chapter back in the legion right what would they look like in the legion where, where did they come from how did they get to this point so my idea is to take like the mentor legion right because i thought that their lore was really interesting and unique and they're especially the way that they approached warfare right um and reapply it back to the ultramarines but i wanted to kind of put little subtle hints here and there as to like you know to to the chapter right I, I thought it would be really cool if i did it like his personal heraldry on his cape and crest you know as being part of a chat like the chapter master it indicates and shows that you know that that kind of that future right so he is 100 percent ultramarine but he also has this you know like these little hints here and there of you know what they eventually will become right and I think that it's turning out really nice. I still have quite a bit more work to do with him, more with the blade, the gemstone there, and his other uh, leathers. But I am, I'm really happy with him. And I also went ahead and tested out a lens scheme on him. And I gotta say, whoo, buddy, that looks good. So don't know why it keeps losing focus there i guess i guess these guys are just too shiny that that's just it they're too shiny the camera cannot keep track of all of that beautiful brightness but over here we have our spartan and about the only thing i was able to do with him this week is to uh start the copper for the vehicle crew uh just because the ultramarines legion would kind of signify things based off of you know like your armor would be painted differently on what kind of job you're doing and uh, for vehicle crews they had a like copper faceplate and copper uh, shoulder pads all in all though I think I did uh, pretty good this week you know I'm a bit of a slow painter so to get as much done this week as I did is pretty gnarly I mean I completely converted and kit bashed these guys up and that took two days so really I mean just mm, they're so cool so, especially with that, just, I have to say, I'm really satisfied with how their, oh, come on now, heads and the eyes turned out. I mean, especially just, you know, taking that risk, right, and trying out a new technique, that, especially one that I wasn't too comfortable with and had no real, you know, background or history with. I think I did a pretty good job. And, you know, that that's the big part of the hobby, right, is kind of pushing yourself and doing new things and trying out new things and you know making things look the way that you want so all in all uh kind of interested to hear about what anyone else is working on it's a fun time to get in the heresy and especially to kit bash and put things together and, you know maybe uh like somebody else has an idea that's like oh that's a really cool idea let's you know let's let's see what they're working on see what they're thinking so all in all, uh, I'm going to go ahead and do another update next week. This week's going to be kind of busy, so I'm not sure exactly how much progress I'm going to get done, but we'll see. See you guys next week.